Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jococov.org. So it's time to start thinking about getting your COVID vaccine. Remember that not everyone will have access to get the vaccine at the beginning. Uh, we will be prioritizing those who are frontline healthcare workers and working with patients in long-term care, nursing facilities, as well as residents of those facilities. Remember that this vaccine has only become available to us after it's gone through a rigorous process of testing. These are the same kinds of tests, the same kinds of procedures that happen ordinarily whenever we're doing vaccine development. They have been accelerated during this time, not by changing the scientific processes, but by getting rid of a lot of, a lot of the regulatory red tape that normally makes things go a lot slower. So the process has been speeded up, but it's the same rigorous testing process with large numbers of people having been tested and the results followed for a period of time to see if there were any bad side effects, which there have not been any evidence of bad side effects for any of these vaccines. There is, after you get the vaccine, the same sort of reaction that you may have possibly when you have other types of vaccine. That is, you may for about a day or so feel sore or run down or even have a little bit of a fever, but it rapidly resolves. This vaccine is our way to end this pandemic, to get life back to normal and to prevent the severe types of reactions that we that have been clogging up our hospitals and filling them up so that there is so little hospital space available. We are still, remember, in a very difficult time. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot of, of virus out there transmitting. This is not the time to be careless in your, when you're moving out and about in the community so close to the end. Please be careful please realize that the hospitals are as busy as they've ever been, busier than they've ever been, and that we are in a very risky time right now should you need to be uh, hospitalized. So we wanna also, again, remind you that the flu is still out there. The regular flu is there and that you need to get vaccinated if you haven't been vaccinated against the flu yet. We're still seeing the flu. People are still being admitted to the hospital with the flu and pneumonia after the flu. Uh, and yet we have less hospital capacity than we did before because so many COVID patients are in those beds. So we strongly recommend you to get your flu vaccine so that you don't end up in a situation where you'd need to, uh, need to be hospitalized because of the flu. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.